I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's so nice to be here. How is it to be here and be celebrating the next generation of filmmakers? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and I think the next generation of filmmakers are going to be absolutely incredible. I mean, I think film is going to change as we see people kind of who are already filmmakers by the time like 12, 13. Um, so it's really exciting. And um, I've kind of done bits and bobs of getting to film in the past. And it's just, it's just... It's so cool, the brains that we have, who are also now having access to be able to be filmmakers whenever they want. And what have been some of the highlights for your career so far? Um, I think filming St Maud was one of my biggest highlights. You know, it was a first time director, it was my first lead role. Um, it was the DOPs, for, it was loads of firsts for lots of us and we kind of just couldn't believe that the reception it got and it felt like well that was one of the first of this new wave of like kind of this elevated horror psychological horror like very female led um it really felt like it was at the front of that so did it feel kind of um amazing to be a part of that yeah i don't think any of us realized that's what it was when we were doing it because you're just kind of focused day by day on and i was just obsessed with Maud. obviously i wasn't thinking of anything else um but yeah it's really cool and i think yeah you don't know what you're in until it's seen i mean there's the people who make it and then there's the audience who kind of complete it. And so, yeah, I think that's what's great about horror is that it's always discussed so intensely and it becomes something entirely new. And it feels like it's a genre that's like a really um, great medium to specifically like explore the female experience and things like trauma in a way maybe you can't do as well with, with normal drama. Yeah. Um, and I think horror is also kind of... I think it makes sense to me, like... I've lost my thread. But yeah, I totally agree. It's a really interesting way to explore kind of stuff that might be too difficult to explore in a more realistic way. But also I think in terms of a genre, I think that horror is kind of like the fringe of film in that like everyone is just happy that people try things out and do new things. It's a really supportive environment. And so I think lots of the most exciting things are always happening in horror. Do you ever get scared by horror? Do you get scared watching your own film? <laughs> yes, I get really scared and also really sad watching horrors. So, and that's part of it. I get a big release. Yeah. Um, it really is just a dream come true to be part of like a fantastical world for me personally, because I love that stuff. Um, but yeah, and to be part of something that we had such scope to explore and we had such scope to make things so beautiful. Like I think the crew's work on this show um, is clear for all to see because it is just stunning. And I'm when I watch it, even though I was there filming it, it blows me away how beautiful it is. Um, I'm excited to explore, you know, kind of how can going through kind of hardships and grief somehow lead to serenity. It's really lovely to kind of be able to get together and um, meet people who are kind of involved in it. I think one of the most the things that I'm so grateful of being part of this industry is the community. Um, and so when you come to something like this, you kind of see all the different cogs and bits that go into making British film so cool. Can you quickly tell us what you're working on next? I'm about to start filming the second season of The Rings of Power, um, which is exciting. We're filming in Britain. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to get going on that. So, from season two, well, I th think we can expect more beauty. I think what well, I was loved being part of this because it is so gorgeous. Like, the crew in New Zealand were amazing, and now we have a wonderful crew in Britain. And so, I'm really excited to see what kind of visuals they create for us. Yeah. And have you seen the script? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, it's actually um, just vintage. I think it was made by the grandma in New Zealand. <laughs> I like finding stuff that's been, that doesn't have labels because you feel like it could have just, as I've said, be made by like a grandma and I think that's lovely. Um, yeah, no, I think it's a really kind of, I don't think we can talk about anything without talking about sustainability, which is good. I'm loving Bad Sisters, yeah, and yeah, Five Sisters, all so defined and different, it's just wonderful, sorry, and the wonderful place band. Yeah. I'm really pleased to be here, it's, um, yeah, it's lots of people really passionate about them. I'm, um, there's a lot, but I've now, as you asked that, my brain is empty. <laughs> um, it's just been wild. Um, I mean, the scale is massive with a crew of 2,000 people. But I think I went into it with really good training from doing independent films. Um, there is something about when you're doing something on a budget, on a small time scale, with everybody mucking in, desperate to make kind of their visions in their head come true, despite all the obstacles, that really sets you up well. But, for anything. Um, and yeah, I feel really lucky to have been part 
of to make an independent film you have to be hugely passionate yeah. and so when you're part of them you can feel that and you feel very honoured I think it's so important and um, I really think that we're seeing kind of the fruits of lots of people's labour we're seeing like really wonderful interesting films that are showing a big broad idea of the human existence and also I think um, there's no kind of story too small as well I think anybody here there could be a kind of a film about them and so to have the ac access to whoever has a little spark in their mind to be able to do it yeah. is great for us. I can't give any sneak peeks until season one is done. Yeah. They can all scary um go on. Um, they can look forward to um, meeting new people.